So these are some mini pizzas that I used to make quite often for the kids for lunches or snacks. So I'm starting to make them again. Uh, they actually had some today for school lunch and uh, I'll show you how I make them and uh, how to make them fairly easy. As you can see they turned out pretty good. Um, fairly nutritious lunch too. It's not something you're gonna have every day but uh, I'll run through the steps. The dough recipe is in a separate video and I'll link to it here and in the description. So I encourage you to watch the other recipe video. And here I'm preparing the two pizza pans with a bit of olive oil. The reason I'm doing this is when I do cut the little mini pizzas, I need a place to put them on and uh, put them right onto the pan. Um, so I'll have that, uh, that ready to go. You can use obviously baking sheet, parchment paper, uh, other non-stick methods, um, whatever you want, but I found this uh, to be pretty easy and these pans uh, work well. You could make whole wheat dough as well. Um, it's uh, My recipe calls for 600 grams of all-purpose flour, but you could do 550 grams of all-purpose and then 50 of whole wheat flour if you want to add a little bit of whole wheat to the content. So here you have the ingredients or the toppings. The important thing with these mini pizzas is to cut up your ingredients, uh, finely chop them because uh, obviously the scale of the pizza is a lot smaller. So all your toppings make sure they're no more than a quarter inch and uh, it does take a little bit of extra time to cut them but uh, try to be consistent. So just whatever toppings you have on hand. I happen to have some extra mushrooms and extra black olives and a few other things. So. Here's some honey ham that I'm going to, again, cut very uh, small pieces. And I also did some mozzarella, sharded some of that. It's not on the video, but it'll be added a little bit later. You can use Parmesan as well, whatever your cheese of choice is. The good thing about mini pizzas is you can customize them. So if someone doesn't like pepperoni, like I'm cutting here, um, you could leave it off whatever pizzas they're going to have. So. Uh, these are coming out of the freezer so they're a little bit stiff and actually easy to cut when they're uh, partially frozen like this. So cut them up fine. Try to stay away from toppings that have a high water content like uh, for instance pineapple. Um, you don't want your little pizzas absorbing some of that water and becoming soggy. So it's fine on a bit larger pizza but on smaller ones it does uh, it could result in a soggy pizza. So okay. Dice everything up nice and fine. These are little sweet bell peppers I had in planters outside, so uh, they actually work well for this uh, instance because they're they're tiny. Um, bit of a pain with those seeds, but uh, I removed those and, and cut up the pieces quite fine. So flour a work surface. Now the dough I made I was uh, divided into two dough balls, so this is one of them, and it was a second. Uh, it went into the to proofing a second time just to make it easier to work with. So if you don't do this second rising of the dough, uh, it tends to contract on you when you're rolling it out. So if you just go for another 30 minutes, uh, it becomes a much easier to work with, a lot softer. So okay, so I encourage you to do that. Especially since you're cutting out form like a, a shape and you don't want it to contract too much. And you'll see here I just use a container which is a, just under five inches in diameter. And you just rotate. So whatever uh, you can use that uh, you can rotate like that and lift it up at the, at the end. Um, maybe a cereal bowl or something like that but this tends to work well and it's a nice uh, stiff container as well. So this is a bit of the tricky part, trying to lift them out. That's why you have to have a floured surface. The dough is still a little bit uh, sticky and hard to work with. Just take your time. And obviously the dough that's uh, left over you're going to reuse and reform. Now I have a few that I had already cut out off to the side and you'll see I add it to the pan just to have that pan done. You don't want them too thick because they are going to rise in final baking. 
and you want them to fit in the lunch containers too so you don't want to make them anything more than maybe four inches or four and a half inches uh, once uh, they're all said and done in the, in the oven so I think I was able to fit seven of them on on one um, 15 inch uh, pie pan uh, so it will fit about seven of them and then I had uh, the extra dough at the end I made another three I baked them separately so yeah you get quite a bit out of uh, 600 grams of flour and, and the other ingredients and it makes for quite a few lunches so here you see I'm reusing that uh, the cut pieces just kind of reform it into a ball add a bit of flour and reshape it and roll it out and just go through the same process I usually put a little bit of oil on my little roller there just because sometimes it will stick so obviously it does take a little bit more time than doing the large pizza but when you put these in the freezer you can just pull you know a couple out for lunch and that's kind of already pre-made so it uh, makes it a lot easier that way so yeah I just kind of rotate and we're gonna add our toppings so this sauce is uh, in a previous video I had made a, a batch of sauce extra thick so I, I removed quite a bit of the water after the tomatoes had cooked so you can see it is quite thick and uh, almost a paste like um, consistency but that works really well for mini pizzas because if it was too thin you'd have sauce running off the uh, sides and uh, this way it kind of sticks really well and uh, you, if you want it if you can't find a thick sauce or you don't make your own you can always add some, a bit of tomato paste to uh, regular sauce just to maybe thicken it up a bit but I do recommend having a thicker sauce than thinner sauce for this these mini pizzas so it obviously takes a little more finesse to uh, try to keep everything on uh, you know four and a half inches uh, than larger pieces where you're throwing everything around so just take your time don't overdo it on the toppings but the good thing is uh, when they take them for lunch um, you know it's cold pizza they don't heat it up but it tastes uh, really good cold as well so here I'm just adding uh, a bit of pepperoni so you can see that the small pieces uh, work well on this, on these uh, this size. So now you've preheated your oven to 450, and we're going to bake for no more than probably about 12 to 13 minutes because these are pretty small. And if you go to like 15, and or you walk away from the oven, you turn around and they could be burnt. So I think I did about uh, yeah between 12 and 13 minutes. And uh, halfway through, I moved the pans around, so the one that was on the top, I moved to the bottom, and vice versa, just to make sure they uh, get even cooking. Especially with older ovens, sometimes you have uh, the the heat's not very uniform inside, so you have to kind of move them around. But this oven's pretty good; it's pretty new. Here, I'm adding a bit of oregano. Again, toppings of your choice. Try to stay away from ones with the high water content. And again, you can customize each one, leave toppings off, add extras, whatever you want. So I think I had about 17 pizzas all together. So there was seven on each pan, and then I think I had a uh, three um, from leftover dough as well that I cooked after these this batch. So you can get quite a bit out of one batch of dough. And this is what they turned out like and I'll show you that uh, they're not too thick and they fit in lunch containers pretty easily again you don't want to cut them too big they're just kind of you know fairly bite sized and but a lot healthier than store bought you can control your ingredients here you see I have some that I just took out of the freezer 
So you can either put them in Ziploc bags or a container. But uh, yeah, try out the uh, try out making these. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Thank you.